people don't know this, but often when, when pollsters ask a question, the way they ask it, it influences the answer that's given. We don't ask any questions. People don't even know they're in our sample. So we're just gleaning from natural posts what their leanings are. Four years ago, pollsters were stunned when Donald Trump took the White House. Now one Ottawa company says it's got a better way to do polling that removes the biases and delivers a better result using AI. The advantage that Polly has is she's working with a much larger sample size than you get in traditional market research. So Polly is able to apply the same methodology, uh, but it's a much larger sample size. So in, in the case of the U.S. election, we have almost 300,000 Americans and your typical research sample would be 1,500. Aaron Kelly is CEO of Advanced Symbolics, which runs Poly, an artificial intelligence that collects and analyzes anonymous online data to predict how people will vote. Kelly says the amount of data Poly looks at helps avoid some of the problems encountered by modern political polling. People aren't taking surveys anymore. Um, the participation rate in phone polling is less than 10%. And that's the journal Science who, who discovered that. That's not us. So if people don't participate in them, if you and then you're getting very high opt-in bias, right? It's the same people taking surveys over and over again. Polly has correctly predicted the last two Canadian federal elections and the British Brexit vote in 2016. But each election is unique. And Kelly says Polly has run through a range of scenarios that could emerge. If a COVID vaccine is found, Donald Trump would see a huge surge in support, but not with just any vaccine. Now, last week, Oxford University announced that the vaccine that they were working on with a commercial group in, in Britain had had very promising results. And we saw a bit of a boost, but Polly said that wasn't good enough. It had to be an American company that came up with the vaccine. So those are some of the interesting things. Now, as of Friday, Polly is predicting a Joe Biden win, both in the Electoral College and the popular vote. But Kelly says things can turn on a dime. In the 2016 Brexit vote, Polly changed its prediction just days before the vote after the killing of a pro-Remain MP. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.